We are John and Samantha, and the proud owners of a 1986 American Ford Econoline RV, bought by us as a salvage rebuild project. The RV was bought as severely water damaged and required the interior to be completely stripped out. We plan to spend 2021 rebuilding the RV, and that work will be shown here on the channel. In 2022, we plan to take the RV on trips around the UK, taking in some stunning scenery and hopefully some wild camping or whilst undertaking the challenges of taking such a large vehicle down narrow country lanes. Right, today myself and Rob are going to have a go at installing this uh, diesel heater in the RV. Uh, so we've got ourselves a 5 kilowatt heater, uh, a good price and uh, which come with some bits and pieces but we've also added to this uh, some extra hose an extra vent that kind of thing uh, i've chosen this heater because one it's five kilowatts and uh, we need that size of heater i think because of the uh, the size of the rv 27 foot long uh, and also because it's got uh, an integral fuel tank on it so we don't have to bother about installing and securing uh, another tank somewhere on the vehicle. So without further ado, let's get into the RV and um, get installing. Okay guys, so we're in the RV now. We're having a quick cup of tea, courtesy of Samantha. Thank you very much, Sam. Uh, I just thought we'd give a quick update as to where we got to, what the idea is here. So over to you, Rob. Okay, so the first job was to site this. It's roughly in position. It might change a little bit more, but we needed to site this first. Um, we're gonna run two vents off it. Sorry, go back a minute. We just make, need to make sure that um, we've got enough air vent at the back and around the sides. Um, that is obviously now in situ where it's gonna be. And then the next job was to run the vents. Um, the first one being here where the seating area is. There's going to be a vent coming out there. Um, so it's nice and cosy down here. And the second vent yep. is going to go through to the kitchen part so it warms so we're up going the through the toilet. Room. Yep. So okay, if let's you pan around there. Here, John. Yep. So we're going through. This is the toilet where the vent's coming through. Um, That's going to be boxed in, isn't this it? This is going to be boxed in, which got over a small little problem we had for the petrol uh, case in here. It's slightly higher than what the toilet is. But now we can actually box that in and it creates um, a nice feature, a nice finish for the back of the toilet. Cool. We'll come through to the kitchen. We'll come through this. So let's just pan back out of it. So this is going to be the kitchen unit where the sink and the uh, cooker is going. So we follow the pod through um, underneath, come through. Again, this is going to be boxed, but it's only one part of the uh, kitchen unit that's going to yeah. be boxed. Now the other part's going to be full, and the other vent is going to come down here, so you can actually warm up this end of the caravan. Which is near, the, RV as near well. the bed as well. Yeah, yeah. so it's so. near the bed. Cool, okay. Let's finish that cup of tea then, Rob, and uh, crack on and get this job finished today. Didn't get any biscuits, though. I'll have a word, mate. That's not good enough. <laughs> Okay guys, um, just a little pause, I made a bit of a boo-boo, uh, we were intending to run the exhaust port and the intake straight out from below the heater vertically, but as it turns out, a bit of bad planning, there's a water tank directly beneath it, so that isn't going to happen. So we've uh, had a change of plan, we're now diverting the exhaust out to the one side. We're going to have to put some uh, heat protection around here. It's off the floor, it's off that wood, but we're going to put some additional protection around there, some heat protection. Uh, and then the, the intake's got to come out as well through there uh, and it'll come through here. Okay, right. I think it's time for a bit of lunch, Rob. Do we get any biscuits? I hope we get a bit more than biscuits, mate. I'd like a bacon sandwich, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Right, back at you in a minute, guys. Okay, 
Okay, this is uh, obviously the uh, the exhaust that was coming out. Um, we've wrapped it in foil, um, twice as much as what the manufacturer has actually said do, and we've also put a plate underneath it to stop any burning from the um, the, uh, the, the exhaust through to the uh, timber itself. Um, the heater is going to be on no longer than half an hour tops, but that will suffice and will not cause a fire hazard. So, uh, that leads us now to a point before we start screwing anything down permanently uh, that we need to do a bit of a test rub. I so, think I think we'll uh, fire it up and see what sort of heat so we get up this gives out. Okay. Well that's fantastic guys, brand new heater and it's got a problem, error 09 which is a temperature sensor issue, just done a little bit of research and uh, there's a temperature sensor that's uh, mounted on the, uh, on the heat sink inside and uh, if they're defective you get this error code, it fires up gets to a certain temperature and then and then errors great Right guys, so to make a decision, do I just put it all back in the box, send it back, get a replacement or shall I uh, have a look to see if I can find out what the problem is. So I did a little, did a little bit of research on YouTube and uh, it turns out that these cables um, can be defective even from new. And uh, I mean, one guy I saw on there, one of these uh, cables had come unsoldered that's not the case in 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 this but what i have noticed is on another video this cable some of them have a metal piece on the end here and this hasn't got one now i've looked on ebay these are quite cheap these cables anyway um but they all haven't got the metal piece on the end. The cheap ones haven't got the metal on the end. But if you buy one for a Wabasto heater, uh, it was a couple of pounds more, you do get that metal piece on the end. Now the guy in a YouTube video replaced his with the Wabasto sensor and it worked. So I've ordered one on eBay and we'll see what happens. We still can't get to work, I'll just box it up and send it back. But uh, we have to wait, guys. Wait for it to arrive. Oh well. It does work though, it's an, it, it does push a lot of heat out when it works. Oh well. Sorry, guys. Thanks, everyone. Uh, we'll update you when the part arrives and we install it. Okay, take care. Love you loads. See you soon.